all right welcome back today in this video we are considering division of a line segment in a given ratio division of a line segment in a given ratio division of a line segment in a given ratio now we've done midpoint of a line segment right now the midpoint of a line segment we have a point that divides what the line into two equal what parts right Aha. it divides the line into two equal parts do you understand that Aha. or we can say what equal ratio for that matter but here this time around we will be moving on towards division of a line segment either what internally or what externally either internally or externally the the, 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 the midpoint the midpoint of a line segment divides what the line internally right because we want the middle point the middle point the exact point for that line of that point the middle point of that line right so this time around we are moving on toward the division the division of a line segment in a given ratio with that the point divides that line internally or externally all right so without wasting much time let's start so we have suppose or suppose suppose a point suppose a point p x y divides divides the line joining the two points the two points the two points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 internally 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 in the ratio in the ratio lambda to mu so now here lambda to mu suppose a point p x y divides the line joining the two points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 internally so we are looking at what the internal division of that line the internal division of that line then we have a particular point which is dividing that line internally which is what point p x y Right, and the line joining that two points are what a x1 y1 then b what x2 y2 in the ratio lambda to what mu. So we assume that this lambda and mu they are what values. So lambda and mu. All right, so you can use m and n any variable. You can use alpha denotes beta. So any variable. All right, so. We can proceed. We have to draw our nice Cartesian plane here. We have our y axis, then our x axis, then our origin here. So we have a line. We have a line here. We have a line here. That's x1 here, and then we have, let's assume x is here. Then we have x2 here. The same thing we have y1. Then we have y. Y. Then let's see y2 here. Y2. So now we can get a point on this line. Then another point here. So watch here. I assume that this point is what? Point A. We assume that this point is what? Point A, right? So point A, we have what? X1, Y1. Then point B, we have point P, point P. Because it is dividing this line what? internally. So it will be somewhere here. So point P, it is not drawn to scale. So point P, we have X then what? Y. So X then Y. Then we assume that our point B is here, which is x2, y2. 
So x2, y2. So you can see that for yourself. Then we have that. Then we have that. Um, so you can see that. Let me clean this one. Bring it somewhere here. All right. So now we can get another point. Let's see another point here. Let's see another point here. Let's see point C here, right? Let's assume that there is point C there, right? So because this line is passing through a lot of points, so let's assume that we have another point C, which is x2, y1, right? Which is x2, y1. Now they meet at what? An angle which is what 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees angle. Then we have another point. Let's assume that there is another point here, which is x2, y. So let's say, okay, let's say point D, which is x2, y. x2, y. So x2, y. So we have that point A, x1, y1. Then point P, that's the internal division. This point is dividing this line internally. So x, y. Then point B, x2, y2. So then we have another point here, point C, right? You can get another point here. It's the same thing. You can get another point here. Let's see point K. Point K, which is x, y1. x, y1. x, y1. Here is 90 degrees. Here also is 90 degrees. Yeah, 90, 90, right. Okay. So now let's proceed. So this one is internal division. Internal division. So now let's proceed. So now we have thus this. We assume that from A to P, the ratio is what? Lambda, right? Then from P to B or from B to P. The ratio here we denote it at what mu, right? So we have lambda then what mu. That's the ratio lambda then mu, which is internal division. So now, thus we can say that watch. We can say that AP on BP, P, AP on PB equals lambda on mu. Why are we saying that? Why are we saying that? In the diagram, triangle APE, triangle APE. Oh, let me do here E. Watch here, watch it very carefully. In the diagram APE, APE and PBC, PBC. Okay, let me denote here as C, then let me denote here as D. So in the diagram APE and PBC are similar, similar triangles, similar triangles. When we talk of similarities or similar triangles, it means they have what? Their corresponding sides are what? Proportional. Their corresponding sides are proportional. We can say that their corresponding sides are what? Equal. Then they are corresponding angles to are what equal for similarity. If you want two polygons to be what similar, then they must have what equal what corresponding what sides, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Or it must be what proportional. Then they have what equal corresponding angles. So that's similarity. So we are saying that what in the diagram. We are saying in the diagram triangle APE and Triangle P, B, C are similar, are similar, are similar. So if they are similar, triangle A, P, E and triangle B, B, C, if they are similar, then the length of A, P, the length of A, P, all on, let's say, the length of what? P, B, because this side, this side is similar to that side there. This side, the hypotenuse, right? It's similar to this side. So we can say that here is also let's say 90, then 90 degrees. So this side, this side is similar to that side, right? 
the distance from A to P, then from B to P, they are equal, right? So I can say that AP, you can also say that what BP divided by what? PA or AP. So AP divided by what? PB, which must be equal to what? Lambda or not? Mu. Because AP is lambda, then PB is what? Mu. Right. Please, are we getting that? All right. So, now we can say that therefore, therefore, therefore AP, therefore AP on PB must be equal to AE on PC. So, AP on what? PB is equal to what? AE on what? PC. So now, let's see. Triangle APE and triangle PBC are similar. Therefore, AP divided by what? PB must be equal to what? AE. So we have AE, AE, all divided by what? PC. Because this length is similar to that. And this length is similar to that. Right. So now, let's proceed. Now, let's proceed. AE, we have AE. We want to find for the distance here. AE, we have to subtract X1 from what? X. Because this one started from what? Zero. Or it starts, the value starts from zero. Do you understand that? So when it starts from zero, it means the values are what? Increasing. So up to this X, then it means that this X is greater than X1. So I have X minus X1. Right. Likewise, if you come to ED, you can get the distance as what? Well. X2 minus what? X. X2 minus X. Likewise, if you come to the distance here, yeah, this one is smaller than that. So you get what? Y minus what? Y1. Then if you come to the distance here, yeah, this one is smaller than that. So you get Y2 minus what? Y. So the same thing as that. You get the distance. Then now here, the same thing here. Yeah, we have to subtract X from X2. So it will be x2 minus what? x. x2 minus what? x. So now, but AE, we can say that what? AE, AE, the length of AE is what? x minus what? x1. That's x minus x1. Then we know PC. We know PC, which is equal to what? PC. PC, we know it is x2 minus what? x. So x2 minus x x2 minus x we have ae ae is x minus x1 then pc we have it as what x2 minus x and you know ap on what pb which is what lambda divided by what mu lambda divided by mu so now we can proceed and say that ap divided by pb is equal to ae divided by what pc that's the length right so now we can say that ap is what lambda right so we can proceed and continue so we have ap which is lambda on pb which is mean is equal to ae which is x minus x1 or not pc which is x2 minus x can you watch it carefully Alright, so let's proceed. So now we have this from similar triangles. Don't don't forget similarities or similar triangles. If two polygons or since the two triangles are similar, since the two triangles are similar, then their what corresponding size must be what proportional or their corresponding angles to must be what equal. So now here. So now here. We have AP divided by PB equals AE divided by what? PC. Then we know AP, which is what? Our lambda divided by mu equals X minus X1 on what? X2 minus X. So from here, we can what? Make X the subject here. Which is, we are going to find for what? The X what? Coordinate, right? So we want to make X the subject. We want to make X the subject here. So let's make X the subject here. So we have to do cross multiplication. Then we get what x that's mean when it's multiplying with x minus x1 
then which must be equal to what? lambda is multiplying with x2 minus what? x here. So now, let me clean this side, right? Then we proceed. So now, we can say that I'll get, let's say, x mean minus what? x1 mean equals what? x2 lambda minus what? Um, x lambda, right? x lambda. So we want x. We want x. Here we have x mean. Then here we have minus x lambda. So we have to bring it there. So I'll get to it. x mean, right? x mean, then plus x lambda, x lambda, which must be equal to what? x2 lambda, then plus x1 mu, x1 mu, right? Then here, we have to factorize x out. So when you factorize x out, we obtain what? Mu plus what? Lambda, which must be equal to what? x2 lambda plus x1 what? Mu. We want x, so we have to divide both sides by what? Mu plus lambda. So I have mu plus lambda on what? Mu plus what? Lambda, which must be equal to x2, x2 lambda plus x1 mu divided by mu plus lambda. So I get my x coordinate, which is equal to x2 lambda plus x1 mu divided by so now we can say that divided by let's interchange that because mu plus lambda addition is what commutative so we can write it as what lambda plus mu so that's the x coordinate watch it carefully that's the x coordinate All right, so that's our x coordinate. x equals what? x2 lambda plus x1 mu, all on lambda plus what? Mu, x2 lambda plus x1 mu, all on lambda plus mu, lambda plus mu, lambda plus mu. So this one, we can still write it again as x must be equal to lambda x2 plus mu x1 all on lambda plus mu all on lambda plus mu all on lambda plus what mu so we can still write it again don't don't forget lambda and mu they are what ratios they are the ratios so x equals lambda x2 plus what mu x1 all on what lambda plus mu so that's our x coordinate so let's write it here x equals lambda x2 plus mu x1 all on what lambda plus mu so we know that our point p is in the form of x y so we now know x is left with what y so let me rub this place and let's continue So now let's continue. Similarly again, similarly again, similarly again, we can write what? Similarly, we can write AP divided by what? PB, which must be equal to what here? We're dealing with the what? X axis, but this time around we are moving to the Y axis because we want the Y coordinate. So we are moving to the Y axis. So now here, but still our ratios is very, very important, so we don't have to eliminate that, right? So now, AP on what PB, which is equal to lambda on what mu, right? So AP divided by PB, which must be equal to, so now similar triangles. So similar triangles, EP, because we are dealing with this guy first, right? Mm -hmm. So AP, so we have to start with what? EP. We are taking this one on that. From similarity we are taking this one on that so we started with what AP being divided by what PB so we have to take what 
EP being divided by what? BC. So we will go EP, EP being divided by what? BC. Right. So now AP, which is lambda on mu, which must be equal to EP, which is we had it, we subtracted y1 from y. So we had y minus y1 all on BC, which is y2 minus y. Y2 minus y. So from here we can what make y the subject, or we can express y in terms of the other variables here. So now let's make y the subject here. So we are making y the subject. Then we can say that what we can do our cross multiplication here, right? So I'll get what lambda being multiplied by what y2 minus y, which is equal to me being multiplied by y minus y1. So now we can multiply through. I'll get lambda y2 minus what lambda y equals mu y minus mu y1. So mu y minus mu y1. Then we can proceed. So let me continue here. Our focus is to get what y as the what subject. So now here we can proceed. Now here I have minus lambda y. Then I have what mu y. So I can group them. So let me bring this guy there, then I'll send that guy. So I have what? Lambda y2. Then I'll bring this one plus what? Mu y1 equals what? Mu y plus lambda y. Right. So now we can factorize y out. So I'll get mu plus what? Lambda, which must be equal to still lambda y2 plus mu y1. So we can divide both sides by what? Mu plus what? Lambda. By expression. So I have lambda y2 plus mu y1 divided by mu plus lambda, which must be equal to y mu plus lambda, then mu plus lambda. So this one cancels, right? So I get my y coordinate as, let's write it here. So y coordinate as, we are starting with lambda. So lambda y2, then plus mu y1 divided by lambda plus mu. So the same thing, we have to interchange that. So lambda plus mu, lambda plus mu. So kindly watch it carefully. Alright, so that's that. So we have this point P, point P, point P. So this is point P for the internal division. So point P as what? X, Y. Hence, the coordinate for point P is, I know my X, which is what? Lambda X2 plus mu X1 divided by what? Lambda plus mu. Then comma Y, which is lambda Y2 plus mu Y1. All on what are lambda plus what mu. All right. So we are done with the internal division of a line segment, right? In a given what ratio. Thank you for subscribing to Massa Tutorials. Stay tuned. Bye bye.